What's up, family? Back with a quick video, you guys. We're going to touch on two things on this. We're going to talk about should you do private pay or brokers? That's two. That's one thing. And then some of y'all be coming to me asking me the craziest question. I don't know where y'all hear this stuff from. You know, y'all hear from different YouTubers and this and that. You know, there's a lot of different YouTubers out here doing transportation. Now. It was not this many YouTubers trying to talk about transportation four or five years ago. I'm going to let y'all know that straight up. You know what I'm saying? So you got to watch out when you hear information from you guys. Uh, because people be trying to sell you a course. They just be trying to sell you stuff. If their business was that booming, if they act me in the transportation business, they won't be, they can't, they won't be on YouTube all the time. So you got to feel the real people out. And I, I, I always use, uh, I always leave links for some of the channels that I like that I feel is real. So you really got to use discernment with that, you guys, uh, and watch out from that mess, man. But anyway, uh, it's up to you. I mean, I know a guy, it's up to you as far as the broker. Everybody's situation there. I know a guy been in the business 20 years. I ain't gonna say his name. Got, got over eight vehicles. Nice office, everything. Doing over half a million dollars a year. You know, charge big money. I've been with him, seen his checks for uh, wheelchair transportation. But he been in the game that long. Got nice vehicles, everything. Uh, don't deal with the brokers. Doing over five. $500,000 a year without dealing with no brokers. Strictly private pay. He just got a contract. He just told me he got it. Unless that's what he told me. I don't think he's lying. He don't deal with brokers. He just got a contract. I know he do contract with the uh, with the state sometimes. But he don't deal with Medicaid. He don't deal with brokers. So that lets you know right then and there that you can, you can do it without dealing with brokers. But he been doing this for 20 years. A lot of y'all ain't got 20 years. Y'all ain't got the patience for no minutes for no 20 years. You know what I mean? Just to be honest with y'all. So everybody's situation is different. You know? And if you think you're going to get in this and then you're going to jump off in, in, in five months, I'm going to tell you lying to yourself. Not saying that you can't get lucky, but that's probably one out of every 10 that do that. And then the ones that think they doing that, tax man going to hit them at the end of the year. Are they really looking at their expenses? Are you really making money your first six months? Nine out of 10, you probably not, even if you think you are. Because if you knew the business, you really don't know how to look at your money and look at what's going in and what's uh, what's what's coming in and what's going out when you first start. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, y'all, this stuff take time. It does not happen overnight. But everybody's situation is different. So if you, if you ain't got time, if, if you ain't got time, you ain't the type of person that understand what business is, you need to understand. Sometimes the owner get the money on the back end. Now, if you own an operator, yes, you can make more money up front. But if you're trying to run a business and you're trying to be owner, uh, if you're trying to be CEO, you're trying to be owner, not working in your business, it's going to take longer for you to get a return because you got to pay everybody else first. So in that case, you might say, you you going to have super patience just to do private pay in that case if you want to be you don't want to dry you don't want to do not it's going to take you years probably or a couple years and you ain't doing no runs or none of that to really turn a profit but you can do private pay it's just going to take longer for you to get your money but a lot of times people don't have the pace for that you know what i'm saying so they're going to do they going to deal with the broker just to bring some revenue in. You got to figure out what your situation is. So if you try to bring money in that way and build your private pay as you go and using a broker as a filler, that's okay too. You know what I mean? You got to figure out what your situation is. Or you can deal with brokers and not drive. You know what I'm saying? And uh, do private pay and just deal with the back end of the business. You're just going to get paid less money over time. You're going to make less profit. You know what I'm saying? But you can go either way. No, those brokers don't really pay you. Uh, some of them pay you 70%. I'm talking about for amateur. Y'all know I really only do amateur. I'm just tapping in the wheelchair. 72%. You know, you got to negotiate a good rate. Amateur, you might get, i say, uh, $32. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you, you really got to figure it out. But you better be building your private payout. Uh, with that because the truth of the matter to me because I built my business for private pay 
I ain't depend. I don't want to depend on no broker for for my company because if something happened, they can kick me to the curve or anything like that. So it's like I would say, build your business from the ground. You private pay, and if you if you desperate for money, deal with a broker. If you trying to get some money coming in, and a lot of y'all gonna be desperate for money if you come in the wrong way. If you don't come in as a business owner, if you don't come in as an investor, you know what I'm saying? You gotta understand it's gonna take time you guys it's going to take time but do both if you have to but if you got patience build your business from scratch do private pay you know just build it from scratch build it up on your own do the things you got to do to build private pay. it's not a video to go in detail on that but everybody's situation is different um but it's nothing wrong with doing both it's nothing doing wrong with doing one or the other just know when you're dealing with a broker, you're going to get paid less money. Whereas though, I can charge you $75 or uh, uh, $130 round trip for wheelchair within a uh, within a six mile raise or five mile raise. You're dealing with a broker, they might only pay you $85, $90 round trip for that same thing. Whereas though, if you did a private pay, you could have charged $130 to $150. So, I mean, it's a big difference. But the thing is, with private pay, you got to find that client. And a lot of a lot of y'all ain't got the patience for that, um, to be honest with you. But uh, leave a comment. Y'all be blessed. I'll catch y'all on the next one.